Well, let's see. Have we started yet? Yep, we have. Sorry about that. All right, folks. It's Dwayne here. Dwayne's Custom Baits. Haven't been on in a while. Sorry. I have been doing a few things, but hand pours tonight, as you can see. First ones I've done in a while. Haven't been doing them. We've been doing more uh, injecting. So, we're, but uh, this is my four and three quarter inch. Um, swimming shad. It used to be. I'm going to change it to the DCB shad now. But uh, got an order for 50 of these, and we're doing them in my uh, Electra Blue Short Cruise. But uh, not as much blue flake. A, a lot less actually. They're already mixed up and everything already. So I didn't sit, put you through the whole thing. It uh, in the blue it has. A quarter tablespoon of blue highlight, four drops of black, and a quarter tablespoon of O35 blue flake. The chartreuse is a non-bleeding chartreuse I got from Lurecraft. Actually, the the colors in the blue is all come from Lurecraft as well. The chartreuse is a non-bleeding chartreuse. Um, there's 70 drops in the short truce. And then not a full quarter, not a full eighth of a teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon. Boy, wait a minute. Hold on here. Eighth of a teaspoon. Teaspoon. It's not quite full, though. I didn't do a full quarter. It's been too much for the less blue flake. Now, this is getting hot. Let's get to pouring. We've got a few of these I've already posted pictures of on um, Facebook, on my pages, and then um, one of the building pages. I forget the name of which one it was right now, but we do have them. So, you know, both good. They're both already good and stirred up, mixed up and everything. Let's uh, pour up these right quick here. Be nice to get these in injection mold but I haven't done that yet. I got the chartreuse in. And then I'm gonna pour some back through this little crack. I gotta be careful. Down toward the tail here. And we're ready. There we go. I'm only doing one at a time so we won't get it be too cold and it won't, won't want to stick or nothing so Throw that up, get the blue flake going a little bit. Put that chartreuse one back in there. All right. Then we start in the tail. Fill up with the blue here. And run it down through there. And bring it all the way to the front. Hopefully, there won't be no cold crack or cracks in it where it pushes the chartreuse over. Now, these you gotta over, not overfill it where it runs off, but. Fill it up good because when it hardens up, you know, when the plastic hardens up, everything it pulls down, it'll have a little V in it. Sometimes it can't be helped, but when it dips, it, it takes care of it. Even if we don't really want that to happen, I have had it to where I thought it was real good and high and, high and it wouldn't do it, and it still did it. So we will. Uh, See how it does when we after we get that fourth mold. I got four of these, so I do an eight at a time. Should have had that fifth one. I goofed up and I ordered, I guess. Could say. All right, pull that short truce down through there, and then back up this way. All right. All righty, now we'll just. Stir this a little bit. Gotta be careful because it is a little bit fuller than what I normally do with it. But now this mold does have a couple of little mistakes in it on this tail piece, but I cut those off so it won't be a problem. Put that there. Fill that up like so. All right. Okay. There we go, and I've got to do something right quick, so let me pause this for just a second. All right, sorry about that. We're back. 
And there's the first one. Now we're starting the second one here. I don't know how good you these will show up as well, but we will see here. Get there. Bring it back toward the back now. All right, there we go. Now, there the blue. We use a lot more of the blue than we do of the chartreuse, of course, so. Not like doing an injection, we're using equal amounts, but that's okay too. All right, so overlap it here. Try not to overflow too badly. Because I've been lucky, I haven't done too much on the body of it. I do more back here at the tail and the tail and the thin piece of back going back to that paddle tail. We've been lucky so far on those, so we've been doing good. The only one time I did do that, I caught it with my finger. Definitely did not mean to do that. Alrighty. Chartreuse. Okay. I'm going to have to try this in my, uh, my six inch swim baits. The guy might want some of those with this color. So we'll see. We shall see here. Alrighty, stir, stir, stir it up, put it in there. Why well, I said stirring it up, I wasn't stirring nothing up. Okay, now this tail, alright, that might keep the tail from, the tail from messing up on me. Gotta be careful here, although that, that side's already got a little scoop in it. I didn't. Fill it up as good as I thought I had. That's all right. It'll be okay, Tommy. Like I said, Tommy dip it, it'll take care of that. Alrighty. Okay. Bring it back here. Kind of miss doing this. I haven't done it in a while, like I said. It's been quite a while. Well, I did have to do some uh, some of my double crawls. I forgot about that. And I have a bunch of those in stock of the four and a half inch in the uh, malted crawl, I believe it is, or green pumpkin. One of those two, I have a bunch of them in. I'll have to look. I've also done some rework in my shop here. Normally, you wouldn't see that wall that you're seeing right now over there um this wall right here goes all the way into the corner over there over to there where you see that piece of tarp that's a seven foot wall there now brand new i got a little piece of wall still that's in front of me and then that wall you're seeing right there that's a new wall that's where my uh cabinet used to be it's a five foot wall and then straight behind me is another eight foot wall. So we've done a whole lot down here. We've done some major changes to get everything situated right for us. Been really busy. Waiting for some customers that come here to buy their bait to show up. They're gonna really be wild when this happens when they see it i did post a video on my page and then to my on my Dwayne's custom bait pages and people are liking it so that's cool that's always cool people like what you've done to try and improve I do have lures on it, but you can see a bunch of empty pegs here, so, whoa, there are empty ones, but uh, on the, the way it was before, I used to have like one type of bait here maybe, and then I have another type right here, and right now, I don't have anything like that. Everything 
is all on its own post now. So, so that's pretty cool. When I make some of my big worms, though, we're going to have to double up somewhere, probably. We'll figure that out when that time comes around. I do have a police officer that's wanting some down in Florida. He, as soon as he gets in touch with me, I'll be making up some more of my 14-inch ribbon tail worms. it up a little bit here and after I make all of these up I do go back and put eyeballs on them I'd already done 32 of these and I went for the eyeballs on them already so be that much a, that much ahead anyway and then after they all glue up, of course, then I dip them. Seals them all good. And I dip the whole body except for the part of the tail that I had to hang on to. So it all looks good. Um, this guy, I believe, is putting, if I'm not mistaken, putting a, I'll put a weighted hook on it and through the head, like a jig head one. So normally it does have a hook slot and it um, I normally cut it open. But I don't have to, so on these, so I may not. All right, now that tail's easy, it fills up fast. The whole mold's really easy. Some of that chartreuse might have been just a hair runny there, but. I may have a roll in it. I hope not. I'll have more than what I need for the order, so any mess, messed up ones, I'll keep for myself. I'm not worried. As I said in other videos, that's how I used to do for my flukes when I lived in Florida. My dying shads, as I call them. All righty. So see, after doing that fourth one, this one's ready to bump, dump it out. So. And I'll show you. I don't know how good it'll pick it up, but I'll show you what it looks like. All right. Without the eyes, anyway. So, I'll get it close to the camera here. Maybe you can pick it up there. There you go. There's a chartreuse. And in the blue, you can see it a little bit right there. And there she be. They're four and three quarter inches. And there's the second one. Here's the second one. And these didn't roll at all. They look gorgeous. And then there's a blue back, so that's looking good. Oh, yes. And it'll really look good once I clear dip it. That really brings out that blue, that's the highlight blue. It really brings it out good. Sorry I hadn't got the uh, videos up quicker and more sooner than this one. I know this has been probably two, three months. Um, my dad's been having problems, so I've been having to take <clears throat> take him to the VA and things. And then to the cancer center. So, taking care of the taking care of the folks and making baits and now uh also having to start doing some work in the garden but i'm going to try not to wait make it be so long before i do another video while i'm getting that all right we're gonna pull up this next one we'll turn this off we don't i don't know how long of uh how long it's been or nothing but i don't want it to flip over and make this up like two parts or something like you've done it before on me and I don't want it to do that so hopefully this will be a a one part video one of two parts sometimes that does happen though Okay. 
stuck on already. Come on now. Very good. Kind of fill up a little bit and not run right over the edges. Except in the back of the tail, that's all right. Okay. Now I'll take this one, put it here, slide these two forward. Now that one. All righty. Very good. They're a little, still a little bit warm, but they are okay to take it out. And now I just pull them like that, straighten them up right quick. There's the next two. Chartreuse. Electric blue. You can't really see that blue flake in it too good. Let me see if I can get it close. There you go. Now you can see the blue flake in it now a little bit better. As you can tell, if you've seen any of the pictures anywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever I happen to be at, normally my electric blue is loaded with blue flake. As you can see, these are not. That blue is not. Normally it is so. All right. Well, like I said, I'll try to keep up with more videos and get back with you because I I have some new baits. I've got a five, six, and a ten inch injection lizards now. Never had a five before. The ten inch injected one is bigger than my ten inch hand poured one. I now have a three uh. Two and two and three quarters to two and a half, two and a half, two and three quarters. I forget now which one. But anyway, uh, and a three and a half and a four inch tubes, slender tubes, and then I have a fatter body tube, and then I can also I can do those in a regular tubes, or I can do them with a uh, roughly five sixteenths to a half inch head, solid head on them. Uh, let's see, well. I don't call them Ned Rigs, but the little plastic Ned Rig at 2.7 inch. I call them little hammers. I make those now. Um, let's see, what else is new? Oh, the uh, rib swim baits. I don't think I've done one of those. Like a Kitek style. Um, I have a 2.5, which is only 5 16 inches thick. Um, at the thickest part of it. Then I have a 3.8. Which is the fat body one. Oh, excuse me. And then I have a four inch one, which is a little bit slender body. And they've been going really good. I need to do a video of me making them. I believe that's everything that's brand new. So, we'll let y'all go. Um, like I said, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. make a, Leave a comment for me. Um, and as we always say here at Dwayne's Custom Baits, they can swim, but they can't hide. And I do have hats. I've got these green ones and a few black ones. They're $15 a piece if you like one. Uh, leave me a message or uh, message me on Facebook or anywhere. And I'll get back with you and let you know. It'll be 15 plus shipping. Bye-bye.